Well, here we go again. Wednesday. Shade after 11. I had to go to Norfolk to pick up a, a rug for Chris that was in the cleaners. I had to go to Norfolk to pick up my new special events license for East Beach. That cost me 50 clams. I was supposed to drop off those four, those three Wustoffs and that one um, ankle, but that lady was missing in action. But I had to pick up some knives from a lady three streets over from her. And here they are. That's another almost whole set of Wustoffs. She, uh, she had a whole block that had four more knives in it that she didn't give me. She said, I got to have something to use. So we got six steak knives, a bread knife, a slicer, utility, and a big chef's knife, and one pair of terrible scissors. I mean terrible in the fact that they just need cleaning up. They are, see if we can make out what they are. It says Italy, 028 inch, 022 8 inch Italy. It has a has it. It does have some name under that under that red ink. Looks like it starts with a T. I can't tell from where I am. They're terribly loose. Look at them. I haven't tried to tighten them because I just took them out of my truck. But when I picked them up, I knew they were that way, and they didn't have one of these. So I went out and bought a new ball peen. Bought a ball peen hammer for such work as that and when I picked up the carpet from the carpet cleaning lady she gave me these big giant pair of shears you can see they're kind of in the same shape as the other ones and we're going to work them up for her take them back to her tomorrow the next day she's got like five or six pair of these babies so we got some more action Stand by. Well, hell, I'm forgetting the best part. You ain't going to believe it. This is a box, right? It says, do not drop. Handle with care. Perishable. Right? There's a picture of a crab. Well, let me spin around this way. And I'll show you what it says. I have a friend of mine who sheds saw crabs and sells them to restaurants. And this is the kind of box they come in. This box holds three trays like this right here. This is a soft crab tray. You see it? It's a big plastic cardboard wax coated tray. And that's the way they put the crabs in there. There's two dozen primes and, and, and jumbos mixed. That one right there is a prime, at least a little smaller. That one there. Come out of that, baby. Soft crabs. So we'll be eating good for a couple of days. We're going to go out to eat tonight, but these will, we'll have some of these Thursday. The lady next door, the 94-year-old lady, you know, she wanted a half a dozen. So I got some for her and some for Chris and myself. Fresh soft crabs. you got to clean them, cut, the, cut their eyes off, clean the dead man out. I'll show you how that works. You can fry them or saute them. I'm going to saute mine. And you'll get to see that Thursday. These babies will take your breath away, I'm telling you. It's one of the best creatures there is in the sea. Soft shell crabs. Lobsters are the same way. They shed just like a crab. A lot of people don't realize you can eat a soft shell lobster. They're delicious as well. Horseshoe crabs. All kinds of crabs shed by, you know, molting. Back out of their shell is what they do. You can Google it or go to YouTube. You can see it. There's a lot of videos on it if you're interested in that kind of crap. Okay, let's go to work. So all crabs have eyes. Two eyes like everybody else. 
First thing you have to do is take a pair of scissors or a knife and cut their eyes off. Then you have to remove the apron. This is a female. All these are females except one. That's the apron. You tear that off with your finger. All crabs have what we call dead man. I call them gills. They're membrane looking little things right there. You see them? You have to get rid of those. You just pluck them off with your knife. On both sides. They have them on both sides. Some people don't like this gooey stuff that's underneath here. Some people like it, some don't. I'm 50-50 on it. So we're going to remove most of that. And when you get through, you have a soft crab body, apron's gone, dead man's gone. You can fry it, saute it, make it into sushi roll, whatever you want. That's the only male crab in the lot. See, he's got blue claws. His apron is shaped like a diamond, so to speak. Female has a big rape apron, and the boys have a little teeny doodad thing like that. You just tear that off the same way. You lift up that shell. You scrape away the dead man. That's a terrible name for some minute. And you're done. Here's a better picture of the... I hope you can see it. That's what it looks like. Dead man on lungs or whatever you want to call it. There's the apron. Just pull that off. When these crabs would grow, that's, that apron would become a red sponge and it would hold millions of little crabs. You can't catch them when they're in sponge season in certain areas. Alright, that's it. I'll get back to you in a minute. All the eyes are gone. Well, we'll slice a rule the knife business. Ten from yesterday, ten from today, and a pair of scissors. That's a lot of wool stalls. Popular knife around here. Crabs are done. I just got to put them in bags and freeze some and get some supper tomorrow night.